just a couple years ago, Jalen Green worked his way up and became one of the most young exciting players in the world and turned heads with his scoring ability and his tenacious athleticism. It just looked way too easy for him and everyone knew that he was going to be a future lottery pick. He's someone who has had quite the story and it wasn't always this easy for him. This is the Jalen Green story. Jalen Green was born on February 9th, 2002 in Merced, California. But when his mother became a nurse, she moved the family to Fresno when Jalen was only in the third grade. Nothing really struck out about his game back then, but by sixth grade, that's where he really started to progress. Because during one of his AAU tournaments, after his team lost to another team, he would do something very unusual. After the game, he decided to go to the opposing team's head coach and asked him to train him. And just like that, that same coach became one of his mentors and interestingly the same guy that was training him became his stepfather and his name was Marcus Green which has no relations to Jalen it was just a weird coincidence and this is where he practiced five hours out of every day and was determined to get better. So as time went on, you could just tell and see that he separated himself from a lot of players his age, especially when he was finally able to dunk. And as he got closer to high school, he started to notice that every time he stepped out on the court, he was the best player out there because he knew that he had been putting in work for a long time. And his hard work paid off tremendously just by his sophomore year in high school on varsity. He really worked his way up and became a five-star recruit while even leading his team to a central section division two title he averaged 28 points per game along with eight rebounds and three assists and his confidence really started to skyrocket because by his junior season he was a fan favorite he averaged 33 points eight rebounds with four assists he also surpassed the school career scoring record of 2,288 points while going on to lead his team to back-to-back -to -back division titles. But going into his senior season, he announced that he was transferring to prolific prep in Napa, California. He just continued to look more and more NBA ready. And so with his frame and skill set from the outside looking in, it looked as though he had no weaknesses. Everything looked so effortless, and you could just tell that he was different than everyone else. Jalen finished his high school career being able to put up 32 points, 8 rebounds, along with 5 assists per contest. He was named Sports Illustrated All-American Player of the Year while becoming a McDonald's All-American. And by now, he solidified the number one spot on being the best player in the nation which led all the big time schools wanting Jalen at their program, which led the five-star recruit to take the different route and made the decision to play for the G League Ignite. So on April 16th, 2020, Green signed a one-year $600,000 contract deal with the NBA G League Ignite, and he was the first player to join and the transition from playing high school basketball to playing at the professional level really developed his game and it was safe to say that he was still that same dominant player that he played like in high school green showed a lot of comfortability and was never afraid of the spotlight especially in the crunch time of a game because within the last three to five minutes of a game his clutch shooting averaged between 40 and 50 percent. He also showed great poise when it came to the pick and roll situations and ran it pretty efficient. His quick first step and transition game really made it hard for his defenders. And on top of that, it was like his confidence grew even more. And for his one season in the G League, he was able to average 18 points, 3 assists, and 4 rebounds per contest. Jalen shot 46% from the field and 37% from the 3 point line. And on March 8, 2021, Green recorded a season high 30 points, 7 assists, and 5 rebounds but in a loss to the Raptors 905 in the first round of the playoffs. So now as he finished his one year stint with the G League Ignite, it was really a toss up battle on who would go number one in the 2021 NBA draft. 
between Cade Cunningham and Jalen Green. So as the NBA draft approached, Jalen was selected second overall to the Houston Rockets, making history as the highest drafted Asian American player and third Filipino player in the NBA. So for his rookie season, in just his third game, he dropped 30 points and eight threes. Now the Rockets did start off one in 16 and throughout that losing streak, Jalen was able to put up 14 points, three rebounds and two assists. He shot 38% from the field and only 28% from three. But things would get worse for Jalen as he suffered a hamstring injury which did sideline him for 14 games. And throughout his time missed, the Rockets did go on a seven game winning streak, which had NBA fans around the world pushing the narrative that Jalen Green was a bust. But when he did return, he really did silence all the negative energy by averaging 18 points and he shot 44% from the field and 40% from three. It was clear by now that he took all the negative energy that was coming his way while he was sidelined and turned it into straight fuel. And as the season progressed, he really started to show effort on both sides of the ball. But he didn't stop there. In his second half of the season, he wasn't your typical rookie and he was just unstoppable because during his last nine games, he averaged 28 points, four rebounds, and two assists. Green even joined Allen Iverson and became the only other rookie in NBA history to score at least 30 points in five straight games. But in addition, he concluded his rookie campaign by dropping 41 points at home. So that led Jalen ending the regular season being selected to the NBA All-Rookie First Team. You could just see on how his confidence continued to grow, especially when it came to him shooting off the dribble and was so immaculate in the open floor. Jalen Green is a player who takes the challenge every single game, no matter who his matchups are. And when watching him play, you could just tell that he really wants it and is willing to learn and do whatever it takes to be the best. And because of his work ethic and killer mindset, he went from being called a bust in the first half of the season to leading all rookies in 30 point games. But as he enters year two, if he continues to lead by example and take strides on both sides of the ball he has the ability and opportunity to become one of if not the best player in the league one day and with that being said ladies and gentlemen this is the Jalen Green story